I have done a lot of videos to this group. And if this isn't the most bandmade doing bandmade things, then I don't know what is. Welcome back and thank you for joining me for another reaction video. We are back with more bandmade and I believe this time it's an instrumental. I'm super excited. I have for a long time said that the future of rock music is in safe hands when it comes to these girls. And I genuinely believe that. It feels like their collective work is healing a genre. And every time I hear a new song, it's like a bandmade bandaid placed across the scene. So super excited. Without further ado, bandmade from now on official music video. Let's see what you got. I will go back just a bit to run in. Oh my god. Okay. Um this is pushing blood through my body. My veins. Uh this is giving me life. A couple things, and then I'll let this play. The way this started, the atmosphere, the intensity, that kind of atmospheric noise that you can hear the warmth of the guitar tone wind in this would be absolutely perfect to open a set with or at the very least uh at the kind of back end of an intermission or something like that just to like warm the crowd up re-energize them that is remarkable to know how talented they are and then to be able to just see it on full display this is the time to shine i speak about how considerate they've been to the melodic prioritization and um, structure of some of the other songs. This is the time to shine. Uh, there's one other thing I want to mention, and it's a bit more nuanced, so stay with me on this one. It sounded like, and I have to go back and listen again, it sounded like um, they're playing like this two-cycle repetition, so it kind of ends low, ends high, and then it runs off. And... That's happening before any of the like key lead work starts. And the minute it does, it dials back to this kind of just three-part repetition and a runoff. And it is a small, small detail, but it speaks to massive maturity. For them to dial back to the most simplistic form of something so that what needs to shine can do just that, shine and brightly. And everything else can be the support structure it needs to be. It's um, phenomenal. I have done a lot of videos to this group. And if this isn't the most bandmade doing bandmade things, then I don't know what is.
Wait a hot minute. That tone. Oh my God. Oh my God, that tone. I'm a huge fan of just how tone and more specifically the enhanced or uh, prioritized frequencies of each of those tones fit together in what we know as mixing and mastering. But that bass tone is something special. Something very, very special. If that's not a uh, walk-in advertisement for Orange, then I don't know what is. Absolutely phenomenal. Everything has a place. And I'm noticing some um, repetitions of rips, particularly the one I was referring to earlier. And it's weird because it makes it feel like a song. And I know that sounds silly because it is a song, but instrumentals aren't really songs. They are just showcases, right? But this feels like it has a structure. This feels a little different. I am simultaneously reminded of how grateful I am to see the music on showcase, to see the instruments playing um, and having their time. But I'm also contrast that with the missing of the vocals, those power choruses that I love so much. They can do it all. We are very lucky to be alive at a time when they are making music. Oh my god that is perfect that is absolutely perfect um uh, i mean yeah mr ryan me over here let's uh pause it so i don't get sued um there he is look at that handsome strapping young lad uh he seems to have done a reaction to this as well so i suggest after mine if you do enjoy it and you're looking for more and you're on that wheel of trying to find more reactions to experience those experiences you can't have again you want to witness them through other people he's a goodie good egg um i'll put a link to his video in the description that is remarkable um yeah so definitely had like a song feel to it it had repetition it had structure it had uh what i deemed to be a pre-chorus it had effectively like a power verse which is effectively something that you would typically do without vocals anyway and uh the chorus was were, were kind of like the showpiece elements and in place of a bridge you had a bass solo and there was a lot of showcase in there that rhythm guitar steady intricate uh powerful it was very consistent drums remarkable not trying to have just its own kind of live drum solo but having moments in between that link everything together it was just brilliant there were a lot of half time speeding up um it was it was wonderful it was wonderful it's made me feel like really happy it's it's uh, reinforced every idea and opinion that i've ever had about bandmade and to be honest with you i i keep saying like you know you think they can't surprise you and they do again and it's less of a surprise now. It's more of just a confirmation. I think that they are, if they can keep doing what they're doing, controlling and owning the bits of their journey that they should, um, we're going to be looking at serious contenders for uh, legacy pass on names. And I mean, like, you know, when you're younger and your dad tells you about a band and that band's called the Beatles, or he tells you about a band, and that band's called Led Zeppelin, or Kiss. 
I do believe that generations from now, young kids are going to be growing up hearing stories about the legacy and the come up of Bandmade. And it makes my heart warm. Absolutely brilliant, masterful in its execution. Uh, it felt like while they showed a tremendous amount of talent and skill, they by no means are showing the full breadth of their capability. Once again, even within an unrestrained format, like an instrumental, they still showed restraint to prioritize the melody. There are a lot of famous guitarists out there, lead guitarists, and a lot of them have said this. These aren't my words, but I do like them. They get asked, what makes a great solo? Well, it's two things. One, it has to be memorable. And two, you should be able to sing it. And you could argue that those two fit together, but I completely agree. Um, there are little hooks in there that I'm already kind of humming the tune to in my head, and I think that that's very important. I'm not going to bore you with the technicalities and the details of how and what they did, because you can see it. There's no magic there, except in the fact that that's countless hours of hard work, dedication, and natural talent. For the next one, I'd love to check out something live, so please let me know where to go next. I'm not sure what other acoustic stuff they have out there, but I'd love to check that out as well. And um, yeah, that was amazing. Until the next one, please be safe, be nice to each other, and have a damn good day.